late night road trip. It is late. I cannot sleep. Way past midnight. I in this near silence the house is sighing. Radiated lungs exhaling in long, shallow breaths. This, oppress this oppressive heat. December has emerged with July. I turn on the radio. A journalist is sighing. There is darkness in men's hearts, he says. He is in Africa, where disasters swarm like flies. But this is not the Africa I know, from our past, where children play in the street and whole families take lunch on the beach. The voice of the man on the radio carries on. He does not visit, does not go to Arla. Outside this house, the road is quiet. Too late, too early, too cold to be out. Behind that curtains, roofless trees stand alone, swallowed by tinsel and plastic and orbiting rooms of glass. Frost breathes on windscreens, as streetlights paint over all but the brightest stars. Our sidelines to where we are could be, could have been, gone too slowly to notice. The man on the radio is crying. He is weeping for Angola, Rwanda and the Congo, Ethiopia, Sierra Leone, Niger. He says the world is filled with darkness. The world is lost. This is not the world I know, I visited. The great skylines of Manhattan, Hong Kong, London, Paris. Mountain ranges, rift valleys, rainforests and oceans. I cannot sleep. It is late. I pace the house. The floorboards talk to me. They speak of previous lives, previous owners, previous worlds. A scratch here, scuff mark there, a flake of paint I once was vibrant colour. We all leave a trace. My son has left a toy car on the floor. I hold it. The stroke its once smooth, now dented curves. A buckled axle, it only moves in circles. In this house, dents in skirting boards fit those on bumpers. His car, once my car, has left its mark on houses across the south of England. These houses, these pasts, so many marks that reflect and deflect other memories. Another car in my uncle's face, a face I half recognise, so nearly remember. Nineteen, a photograph on a sideboard surrounded by flowers. The man on the radio has gone, replaced by the news. Iraq, a different car, 70 families, a different, similar dance. There are thin strips of night between floorboards. They frame dead wood. Another time, water rose during the flood. It burst through like blood from a cut. A thin film of life essence on top of long dead skin. But the house stood firm, did not yield, did not subside. Our futures were secured. And in this house, children. A house of chaos, of laughter, a house I recognise. There is light asleep upstairs. Its glow reaches downstairs, pulls me in, opens my eyes. The banister casts its strips of day and night. If I run my hand over them, my skin turns from grey to molten gold. As I move it away, gold retreats back into the wall. The light pours out of eyes, mouths, our hearts. Catches skin, catches fire. This is the world I know. We move in circles. We move in circles of our own choosing. I turn off the radio, put the car down, put it back in its car park, a child's imaginary car park, with no lines but so many roads leading to it and from it, spinning upwards in every direction. Thank you. Oh.